Alright guys, welcome to another video of Stop 51 Bending. So today, I was just doing a clean out, and it's a pizza shop. Now, it's a very busy, super, super, super busy pizza shop. Let's see if I keep the light on for you guys, that way you can see my face. Um, so it was a super busy, busy pizza shop. And you know, there's always a couple of wackos coming in. So... Here's the question. So here I am filling up the gumball machine. Gumball, don't forget, I, I deal mainly with bulk vending machines. Soda, snack, all that stuff. It's great, but you know what? I make more profit on, the gum, on a box of gumballs than on 10 cases of soda. Uh, and less work. Uh, uh, one, case, one case of gumballs gets you about 200 plus dollars. And to do the same thing with a... With a soda, I would probably have to do each case 35. So I would have to be three, three cases, about six cases. That's not counting the commission afterwards and the actual expense of the product. Um, you know, it, it, you have to you, you have to get at least nine cases. If you do nine cases, uh, multiply uh, 12 ounces, uh, 12 ounce cans. Uh, times 35 and then you divide that into 16. I think it's coming out to about 22 pounds a box So it's nine boxes. It's almost 200 pounds in 200 pounds. I could do almost uh, 200 pounds. That's uh, five boxes of uh, ten boxes of gumballs um, That's almost Two thousand dollars worth of profit versus two hundred dollars you know what I mean? But the difference in the in in, in, uh, in soda is that the soda will produce that two hundred dollars a lot quicker. So in other words, that two thousand on the gumball, I would have to take a long time to produce that two thousand dollars from those ten boxes of gumballs. So it's it, the turnaround is completely different, and that's why a lot of people go into the soda machine uh, business because uh, for every one soda machine, I have to have ten gumball machines. So whatever one soda machine makes in one week, right? Uh, 10 gumballs in the machine will make that same amount, but it won't be in a week, it'll be in a month, or it'll be in two months or in three months. And that's why you have to have a large amount of them. Anyways, back to the point where, um, so I'm filling up the gumball machine. Yes, I'm actually driving. Yes, you can see a box of Famous Amos over there. Yes, I'm still doing snacks. No, it's an empty box. It's empty box though, so you don't have to worry about it. So anyways, as I'm pouring, uh, as I'm pouring the gum in, a lady comes up to me and she's standing looking at me pouring them. I don't touch the food with my hands. What I do, what I do is I shake, I shake the container and then I shake the, the box. It takes a little. It takes a little while to learn how to do that. To shake them both at the same time while you're doing it this way, it all like fits in, and I don't have to touch it with my hands or anything. But if I do have to like tap it on the top, I always have the plastic from the from the gumballs. Um, the, the the gumballs come in a, their own plastic wrap, so I just use that to tap on the top. Or if I have gloves, I'll use the tap. So I never ever touch the product with my hands ever. Um, even though it seems like I do, I don't. Um, and that's a safety issue right there because that's a that's a health department issue that you cannot touch the food with your hands, especially when it's going to another person. I personally feel that that's a safety issue that you cannot have that, you know? So I do my best to not even touch it with even the plastic. I make sure that there is no contact between uh, the, me and between while I grab the box and then as I'm pouring it into the container I make sure that there is no contact that I don't come in contact with the food at all that's why I'm shaking both sides at the same time this way it gets packed in and I don't have to worry about a machine being low on, on, on a product later on this way I can always get a full machine always this is so just so you guys know it's just a little tip I'm giving. Anyways, this lady was standing there, and she goes, "Would you ever try one of these? Would you ever try one of those?" I go, "What do you mean? What do you mean? Would I ever try one of those? 
What do you think I'm pouring? I'm pouring gum, right? She goes, yeah, but would you ever try one of those? And I ask her, if you had a chance to sit in the Lamborghini, wouldn't you sit in the Lamborghini? She thought about it for like a second, and she's like, oh, okay, yeah, of course. And then I make a little joke. I said, look at where the tummy comes from, right? Look at my tummy. You guys want to see my tummy? Yeah, right there. There's a tummy right there. And I told her that's where the tummy comes from because someone's got to try the product that goes into the machines. I don't just come out and buy, you know, go to the store and buy the freaking product and then just throw it to the machine. No. I have to actually physically try the product because not too many people do. Some people, they don't care, you know. You might get a stale product sometime. You never know. You have to bring it back. You know what I mean? But right now... I'm trying to buy as little as possible because there are no returns. So if I do pick something up that is a little bad, I have to kind of eat it up because, you know what? That's that that's it right now because until I have a feel until the end of 2020, we're gonna be dealing with this COVID stuff and there'll be no returns at all. You know, so whatever you're buying, I don't care if it's sealed, you cannot return it. You know, they might like a lot of returns on like like uh, houseware stuff, but not on food. There's no returns on food as of now. So, so anyways, as I'm pouring, she asked me that question, would you ever try it? And I told her, what do you think the stomach comes from? So, <laughs> two kids come in, and, they'll, and one of the kids says, if I had change on me, I would buy a gumball. I said, well, that's great, but you know what's even better? I'm right here. I'm here right now. What flavor do you want? And he picks a flavor out. He picks a blue one. No, I'm sorry. He picks a cherry one. He picked the cherry one and I gave it to him. And this lady's standing there watching me give him the cherry one. And then she asked me, why did you, why did you give him a gum? I said, well, this kids. Kids, I make them happy. There's only one way to get, you know, I'm not looking for business. I'm just looking to put a smile on somebody's face. You know? And um, she goes, well, I want one too. I go, well, no, I'm sorry. It's only for, for kids. And sometimes we give it to big kids like you and me. She goes, well, I'm a big kid. I can, can I have one? You know, and I was like, well, you know what? I'll make an exception this time. What flavor do you want? And I give her the blue one. So I, get, I, I gave her the blue one, and I told her, I said, listen, they may be a little hard or they may be a little soft. If you get it soft, it's good. You can just bite into it. But if you get it a little hard... Put it in your mouth. Shut up. Get your mind out of the gutter. Um, put it in your mouth. Hold it in there for about 10 seconds. It'll soften up. Because what happens is sometimes the gumballs, uh, if it's really cold outside, they'll harden up. If it's really hot outside, they'll be soft. The thing is that I have the air conditioner on 60 degrees in the car, so they're going to be a little frozen, you know? Um, so I, that's how I keep my food fresh. I can run the AC at 60 degrees all the time. I don't care what the weather is, but I run it, you know? And, uh, yeah, she took it. And I said, well, <laughs> congratulations. Now your mouth is all blue. <laughs> she goes, oh, no, 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 I don't want my mouth blue. I want to eat some, uh, some some food. I was like, well, I mean, it's up to you. You can spit it out if you want to. You got it for free. You should be happy, you know? So... She kind of spit it out afterwards. Don't forget, gumball is meant to last for about five or ten minutes, and that's about it. Once it loses its flavor, um, it's a piece of rubber. Um, so, you know, that's all it is. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. I appreciate you. If you want to, subscribe. I really don't care if you do or don't. Uh, but if you want to get tips or if you want to learn about vending or if you want to get more tips for yourself, you can you know subscribe you could always email me i guess you could text me i don't know what i don't know what youtube allows you know i don't care um but yeah if you any questions any comments feel free to you know i probably won't read them but i'm pretty sure if i get a notification i will um they got to change that option but in the meantime thank you for watching and take care all right sorry it's nighttime and i'm driving